Welcome back to Joe Stunner Boxing. I hope you're having a good week and happy Halloween because it's Halloween today, 31st of October and all that. Knock on the door, trick or treat and all that. Mm -hmm. Well, no Halloween boxing cards, I don't think, but there is uh, another Magnificent Seven uh, Queensbury show on its way. Um, and this one's going to be in London. Now, this has become a, pretty much a series within Frank Warren's stable where he matches seven, uh, yeah, seven fights, domestic fighters, and he puts them in with, you know, even he matched guys. You know, it's some of them have been very, very entertaining indeed. Like I say, this one's in London, and Frank says, this is yet another thrilling card, fully in keeping with our Magnificent Seven series, where once again our fighters step up into serious title action in largely even money fights. Uh, there is something for everyone on this card, and I'm delighted to transport the Magnificent Seven concept to London for the first time. Um, I didn't realise they've never done a London Magnificent Seven before, but yeah, that's the case. So who's on the card then? Okay, well, let's start with Brad Pauls versus Denzel Bentley. Um, Pauls will make the first defence of his British middleweight title against Bentley. Um Bentley is, you know, probably the more well-known fighter. Um, but um, you may remember Paul sort of making his mark against uh, Nathan Heaney, who he knocked out uh, in, was it the final round of their rematch? Because they had a draw the first time round. And Nathan Heaney, of course, took the British title off Denzel Bentley. So it's a bit of a round robin going on. You know, I wonder if the winner will have Nathan Heaney. I don't know. But... Um, Paul's, um, he's also got the WBA Continental title and he has a record of 19-1-1, one one, uh, only four knockouts. I mean, you'd expect Denzel to win this perhaps, but he's back on track. He's had a couple of two-round knockovers against, uh, uh, you know, okay opposition. I wouldn't say they were bad opposition, uh, but he's, he's looked pretty good doing it. And sometimes, as we know, it's how you get your work done rather than, you know, the quality of the opposition. Um so yeah, I think that's that's. I mean, Bentley at the moment is twenty wins, uh, three 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 um, defeats and one draw with seventeen knockouts. Uh, and yeah, I think you know, I think it's, it's a good matchup. It's a good matchup. A little um, with the WBA belt on the line, it'll it'll get a a ranking for the winner, no doubt. Um, and yeah, so let's move on to the next one, which is Sam Noakes against Ryan Walsh. Um, and you're talking British Commonwealth, and there's a WBO international title on the line as well. Sam Noakes is 15 nil with 14 KOs, very big puncher. And Ryan Walsh is a veteran. He's got a record of 29-4-2. and two. Um, Probably past his best, Ryan Walsh, would you say? Uh, I think so. But Noakes is kind of flying now, and you would expect him to... I mean, Walsh is 38 so, yeah, I was being polite a moment ago. <laughs> he is past his best, let's be honest here. Um, but he did, you know, he beat Reese Mould, um, which was a bit of a shocker, I suppose. You know, Mould was being much fancied as a potential champion, future champ. Yeah, I mean, he seems to have something left. Whether he's whether he can soak up the, the pressure from Noakes, I don't know, but we'll see. But, yeah, it's a, it's a good, good matchup. Then we've got Solomon Dakers versus David Adelaide. I think this is a natural heavyweight fight, um, English heavyweight title, uh, held by Dakers. Uh, Dakers is 9 0 with three KOs, doesn't hit very hard, but does have that English belt. And Adelaide, 12 and 1 with 11 KOs, so you would think he hits much, much harder. Um, he suffered a loss to Fabio Wardley, uh, Adelaide, this is. Uh, so he's rebuilding. This is his first, I think it's his first fight back. Um, and I don't think Dakers has fought since his rematch victory against a guy whose name escapes me. Yeah, I can't remember the guy's name. I think they had a very, very controversial or very debatable first fight. And then Dakers won the rematch. Um, was, it, was it Webster? Michael Webster? Don't quote me on that. Anyway. Anyway, I think this is a good matchup. I think at English level, yeah, okay. One guy coming back, one guy's got the belt. Yeah, it's fair, fair stuff. Then you've got um, Lawrence Coley. Now, he hasn't got an opponent yet. 
Um, yes, he has actually. Yes, he has. My mistake. He's, he's fighting a German guy called Hussein Mohammed. I think that was yeah, Hussein Mohammed. Now, Akoli, twenty wins, one defeat. His debut at heavyweight. Former WBO cruiserweight champ and WBC bridgeweight champ. This Hussein Mohammed, I know virtually nothing about him. Only a little bit that I read beforehand. Um, but he is eighteen and one. He's got, I think, fourteen KOs. I read, but I, again, nondescript opposition. The German heavyweights tend to sort of dwell in Germany and, and cut their teeth there. And sometimes, like I mean, if you consider what Ajit Kabayel did, you know, he was in Germany for two-time EBU champ, and we thought he was just he was never going to be world class, and he was kind of whittling his career away, and then suddenly exploded onto the world scene. So it can work sometimes, but I don't know enough about Hussein Mohammed if that's the guy Akoli's fighting, and I think I read that it was. Um, I don't know, know enough about him to comment at the moment. I'll have to look into that. Uh, so that's, what's that, four, what's it, four, four opponent, four, four of the fights. Um, and there'll be other people on the bill. Pierce O'Leary is undefeated, 15-0. Uh, he's got one of those international belts, WBC, I think it is. Uh, and he is, he's a super lightweight, um, one of Queensbury's prospects. Uh, he's taking on, oh, I just can't remember now, I should have looked this up. Um, no, I, don't, I can't remember. Has he got? I don't think he's even got uh, an opponent at the moment. A couple of people have been mentioned, but I'm not going to say anything in case A, I'm wrong, and B, it's the guys pull out. But Pierce O'Leary is on a 15-0 with eight KOs. I mean, he is one of those Queensbury fighters who's going to be brought along and probably will, if he continues to win, might end up on a Riyadh card. You know, I think they're grooming him for that. Um, Sean Noakes, who is another Noakes, another Noakes brother, um, Sam's, Sam's uh, brother, who is, uh, he's undefeated as well. Um, he's going to take on, well, he's got an English, he's got, he's got the English um, welterweight title and he's going to defend it against uh, Matthew Rennie, who I don't know much about, but he's also undefeated. He's 13 nil and one. He's only got one KO. Whereas Noakes has got, I think eight, he's eight nil. He's got four KOs. So, but again, I uh, really don't know much about Matthew Rennie, so I can't really comment, but it is, that's battle of the undefeated. So you can't, you can't knock it. That, you know, people putting their zeros on the line. I respect that. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's difficult to know. It's difficult if you've got one guy you just don't know anything about. It's difficult to make any kind of prediction. I'm not really making solid predictions at the moment, but I'd like to see. Um, I'll, I'll probably go away and have a look at these guys. But again, you know, you can't knock it. Two undefeated guys going in there. Um, you know, and then I think there's Alois Junior in against Lewis Oakford again. I don't. I've seen Alois Junior fight. He's eight eight and one with seven KOs. Lewis um, Oakford is apparently six and one, but I don't know much about him at all. Again, another one, um, and they'll they'll be battling for some uh, WBO trinket. Um, this their cruiserweights, by the way. I should point that out. Uh, so we will see. I mean, it's it's a good card. It's a it's a good domestic card, and once again, it kind of highlights how. Frank has sort of taken over the the UK scene again, um, and has done really well. You know, he's, he's, how, how many times have we, have we said this about Frank Warren? How many videos have I have I done where I've mentioned this? Frank Warren, you write him off at your peril. And this magnificent seven um, series that he does, there are nearly always you know three, four fights on there that are well worth looking at, at least. So I'm looking forward to this one. I really am. Um, and this is going to be on December the 7th um, at Wembley, the Ovo Arena at Wembley. So great stuff. Keep keep it coming. Keep it coming. So what's your favourite fight on the card? What, what, what's the one that catches your eye? I think Brad Pauls versus Bentley is probably, probably the one that will stand out. 
But you know what? Um, Dacus and Adelaide, if there's a, if there's a sort of if there's a sort of hidden gem on the card, I wonder if it might be that one. The heavyweights are always intriguing. And I make those two guys kind of, kind of evenly matched, especially as as Adelaide is coming off that knockout defeat to Wardley. But let me know what you think. Maybe you'd agree, maybe you disagree. Comments below. And of course, you know what I'm going to say now. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and hit the like button. That'd be great for us. Thank you very much. Looking forward to reading your comments. Uh, enjoy the rest of your evening. And bye for now.